guys once again, it's Red Robin back at you again with another Alan Wake video where I off where we left off. We managed to bump into someone called Agent Nightingale and he's a bit of a dick. So he's pre pretty much chasing us away from uh, Maine's radio station and we're just going to carry on from there. Hopefully it's not taking me too far back, but this is where we're going to uh, gonna follow on. Even if it kills me, you hear me? You hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Pick up that stuff. We don't need to read the manuscript because we've already, um, that manuscript page, because we already read it last episode. So we can, why is everything made red? But these do flicker on and off, don't they? I'll take it. Shotgun. Nice. Now, one shot left. The darkness controls the taken. I kind of got that idea. I can see something just there. Well, one more shot. the roof I'm on the roof that was a bit of a bad idea right we got this coffee thermos we need to keep moving we need to get we'll go quite quick to be fair trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? 
He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Hmm. It does make you think, doesn't it, about this this fucking guy? About Barry? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Hmm. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Shit. So I could see a railway going. bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Yeah, we do need to find the car, to be fair. Here we go, found one of those secret spots again. Plenty of ammo to go. Plenty of batteries, we've got all batteries. We need 20 batteries, I didn't think we had that much. Plenty of ammo in this one. And literally, let's go straight to the bridge. Looks like we're going up here then. Right, come on, let's have a look. So yeah guys, hope you like guys liking the series thus far. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're looking forward to if there's any games, come on, check. If there are any games you're looking forward to this year, let me know in the comment section below. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Do that for shits and giggles to be fair. 
I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Bloody hell. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. So I picked up a new flashlight, which is brilliant. Plenty of stuff. It's gonna take ages to do with Ah, oh, shit, shit, I should have done that, to be fair. Did you call 911? Quite a quick bit of combat, that. So, yes, I might not be talking as much. I think it's because I'm more concentrated, if that makes sense. Oh, hold on. Coffee thermos again. Picking up all sorts of shit here. Bow. Great. Find a vehicle. use a battery then but all right uh, looking around for supplies and stuff can't find out in the light you can hurt them who keeps leaving these messages around Watch another one of these. Facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Tonight's episode: A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durless, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Did I really? Of course, Mr. Durland. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> <laughs>
such quests always bear fruit. Night springs. That was weird. Right, let's carry on. Uh, the manuscript page again. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Shit. What are you Turn my headphones quite a way down because the the engine was like just a bit too loud. Take all this stuff. More stuff over there. Like the more we can pick up stuff, the better it will be for later. Which you never know. Eleven flares, bloody hell. Right, let's get out of here, let's see if we can find a car. Oh, there's a car right there that we can use. been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Right, guys, let's carry on. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. Set up real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing this one, one part for today, and then I'll be jumping off for a little bit. And making some very nice tea for tonight. Got some friends coming over later on tonight, so I get some nice tea. Uh, probably guys who probably don't get what I mean by tea, we're basically having uh, making some nice dinner tonight. Um, we're we'll cracking up with that tonight, and I may edit some of these parts.
last time that I've done today and then we'll start uploading as much as we can get done. Literally I'm going to try and get as much as I can done uh, before I start work. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Let's just go up here for a sec. I've got a feeling something's already here. Not the darkness or anything but... It's a nice bloody landscape, I'm not going to lie. It's a really nice landscape. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order, either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but... I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Lesson. Don't know if you're apologising to me or not. I don't know, but bloody hell. Right, I'm gonna leave that truck there, and I'm gonna drive this instead. They all sound the same anyway. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Bloody hell. Manuscript page. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Shit. He does seem to be a fellow with an agenda, don't he? Right. So this is the old coal mine. I have a feeling I'm going to be walking straight across all that lot later tonight. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill it! I had to get to Mirror Peak. Looks like we went over that way. Maybe closer than ever before. Could have been waiting there for me. Coffee thermos. Damn good cup of coffee, which is something I've not had yet. Hmm. Oh, 
Bloody hell. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Shit. Just a bit of a flashback or something there. Revolver, there we go. Plenty of stuff on go. Sweet. Still got the shotgun? Yeah, still got my flares. Told you I'd be able to use It's not people, it's just an object flying at me. Bit creepy. Creep, 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 creep. Start checking about. Bloody hell. Well, I'm definitely not getting The only that way, way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh. I'm going up this way. Sweet. Right. 
That should be fine now. That should be off. Right, there we go. Shit. <gasps> Shit. Straight into here. Sorry, I thought I had someone behind me then. Right, uh, any bits knocking about? No. Oh shit, come on. There we go. There you go, so hope you guys are liking the series thus far. I am going a little bit over time, but I'm on a roll with this, to be honest with you, and I want to uh, I want to keep going. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Bloody hell. So that was... I don't know. It sounds weird because it sounds like it's a lot of the stuff that's happening. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. realize my camera's a bit dark guys give me a sec oh there we go for some reason it's been a sod now uh it's because it's a control it's because it's focused on that art side um if i come over here a little bit that might help yeah there we go that's better Right, 
that's just keep going. Reach the Mirror Peak Lookout. So we're not... F I shouldn't say we're right far off of everything else, but there's always that chance I could be closer than I imagine. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? As if. So we've got to go that way, or we can go this way. Go this way right quick and then we'll find out what's going on. Plenty of bats and stuff knocking about here. Flashbang galore. Oh, really? to wrap this up in a sec because I've gone a little bit oh coffee thermos first coffee thermos first oh no shit come on we're gonna do this right come on right right over there over there and then really oh you t you're taking Nah, that's it. I think I'm done. <laughs> so I hope you guys are liking the series thus far. If you are, let me know in the, in the comment section below. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. And yeah, guys, I will see you all next time. Watch what you all are doing. Cheers.